Forrest Gump said, you can tell a lot about a person by their shoes. For this man, you can tell a lot about him by his hands. John Weaver has made a career with his hands, turning the keys of this century-old organ into a heavenly sound. Well, I just relish the sound of an organ. When I was about three years old, I was exposed to a very fine instrument. World-renowned for decades, no hands made the organ play a sweeter tune. In 2005, John left his job as the organist at the Madison Avenue Presbyterian Church in New York City. It's a great adventure. He'd already retired from his teaching positions at the Curtis Institute and Juilliard. A musician doesn't ever retire. Truer words never spoken. He and his wife, Mary Ann, left the bright lights for a small rail town you've probably never heard of. Welcome to Madison Junction. There, Vic and Diana tied the knot this year. Well, that's Grandma and Granddad, and they're waiting for their train. Billy Ripkin is on a 10-game hitting streak, and here... Okay, now we give it the green light. ...is the man in charge. And we blow the whistle. From playing keys to flipping switches, John went from organist to conductor. A wonderful, wonderful train. Brought to life in John's West Glover basement. John Weaver's hands now play a different tune. For 10 years, those hands toiled to bring the junction to life. If you're thinking in terms of hours, thousands. His fans undoubtedly miss the melodies of his organ, but not one to take a hobby lightly. John's become world-renowned in another area. Full gauge railroading. They even made a magazine around his New York office layout. So what percentage of your office did that take up? Just about all of it. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> you see, running these 11 diesels and 8 steam locomotives, Mary Ann, still by his side, makes this retiree feel young again. But, uh, I remember going down to the depot, which was only a couple of blocks away from where we lived. A memory he's brought to life once more. I sit there and watch it to my heart's content. And if you visit sometime, you'll find this town just as friendly as the man who founded it. Alex Apple, Channel 3 News. Good night from Madison Junction.